I had the pleasure last night to have dinner with, din dinner with Denny across the street. And uh, I actually never met the man before. And as he, we would say in Australia, he's a good bloke. <laughs> um, and uh, I had seen the name, but, but you got to realize this guy was the real deal. I mean, he won 20 ESA contests in a row in the 60s. And he won the Men's Open ESA Championship 72. But the part that was most interesting to me in hanging out with him last night was he was in the final of the U.S. Championships in Huntington Beach in 1970. And just look at the names he's up against. Jerry Lopez, Mike Purpose, Corky Cowell. He finished third. And but the most interesting part of hanging out with him last night, we were talking about surfboards. And we were talking about Jerry Lopez on side slippers. Does anyone even remember riding a side slipper? A little fin goes sideways down the wave, right? And then he was telling me, yeah, I had one of those. Little fin, a couple of side fins on the side. To me, that was the most uh, interesting thing besides the fact he was sponsored by the Chart House. Wow, that was pretty cool because I was at one time too sponsored by the Art House, the Chart House, and he probably had one of the, we had these cards, like that we were surf team cards and we could go to any friggin' Chart House and take all our friends for 50% off. My God. Did we, did, we, did we abuse those cards, right, Denny? <laughs> and so uh, today, Denny lives in Zihuate, Mexico, uh, has a restaurant down there. If you're down there, I'm sure if you go there, he is going to take good bloody care of you. So, Denny, it's my pleasure to bring you to the stage. Thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here, and I really do mean that. I traveled a long way to get here, and it's only to see a bunch of my friends here because it is so much fun. I, I started surfing in 1961. I remember by about 1963, there was a surf tour on the East Coast, and it started as far north as, I think, Rye, New Hampshire, and ended up in Cocoa Beach. And it was one weekend every month, or every week. And I remember traveling with a bunch of different people. I traveled with my parents. I traveled with the Mammoth Beach surf team. They were much more fun. Uh, I traveled with Billy, uh, Billy Yerkes. I traveled with Jim Jenks. And I traveled with a surf movie guy. I can't remember his name, but we showed I saw waves of change about 400 times that year. <laughs> but I'm lucky because that was some of the best times of my life. I got to see all different people, all different places, and all great surfing. Um, and later, I think in 1964, there was a big surf contest, probably the biggest surf contest at that time in New Jersey. And... It was the Mid-Atlantic Surf Championships, and it was the first time this, the circus came to town when everybody was here, everybody from California, everybody from Florida, everybody from everywhere around. And fortunately, I had made the finals in the junior men's, and everybody was a name who was in there except me. I was overmatched, under-talented, but I got lucky and got the wave of the contest, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> and first prize was a trip to California, which I took, which I took next Christmas vacation. 
and I was sponsored by Gordon Smith, and so every morning they would send somebody to pick me up to go surfing. But it just happened to be people like Skip Fry and Mike Henson and Billy Hamilton, <laughs> and I'm a 14-year-old kid. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> so that's, that's where it all started from. I ended up going to school in San Diego. Uh, Everything has happened to me because of that. It's been a, just a, a great ride. I tried to make it in surfing. I had a surf shop. I made 1,500 surfboards. I did the sponsorship and you know, tried to surf competitively. But I was too early. There was no money in it then. <laughs> but it all worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm lucky because I've made the friends that I have made here, and it's just been a joy. So I'm going to wrap it up there and say thank you for everything. Thank you for what you put on here, and it's really wonderful. Thank you.